a star is indeed born that was one of the messages that flashed on the big screen there because rian parag 84 of 45 seven fours and six sixes and thanks to rian parag two years of trying and trying and trying i finally get my score prediction right well done 185 and because of that 27 25 runs in the final over rajasthan now are in a great position what could have been a rather middling total i mean delhi capitals had dominated for about 16 to 17 overs but then the onslaught by riyan parag who's coming off a fantastic sayed mushtaq ali seven consecutive 50 plus scores or as some of the commentators were calling it samat samat <laughs> samat yes samat <laughs> yes, they were calling samat samat from uh, at one stage 36 for 3 that's where rajasthan royals were in seven overs and you know this is funny because uh, about 24 hours less than 24 hours ago we were watching a match where seven overs it 102. was 100 runs at one stage so from there you have reached in 24 hours a stage where the team was 36 for 3 but from there for rajasthan to have reached 185 is incredible effort and why it is incredible because one thing that we discussed pre match that they were a batter shot when you looked at their batting they were a batter shot and so they had to manage their resources and kudos to the rajasthan team and the management for having managed their resources because what they've done is the absolute optimum use of resources the final batter also getting a chance in shimran hetmeyer to take them to 185 i think uh, one of the master stroke in managing all of that was sending ravichandran ashwin at number 5 suddenly when that situation is there ashwin is sent and you thought that ashwin was sent because you wanted to consolidate at that stage you had lost too many wickets so you needed someone to consolidate so that the batters coming after him in jurel hetmar then can play attacking towards the end but guess what ashwin said what you want me to consolidate <laughs> i am doing that i am batting like everyone else 152 and considering he got if i am not mistaken two out of the three sixes of andrich nortier hmm. nortier you not mistaken two he ate in the same over same over and effortless effortless so there was an effort though i mean timing he's a brilliant timer of the ball if you look it at sounded. it yeah the bat sound middle of the bat that, that being said i still wasn't a fan of that call i know it worked out still there I'm is a precedent a i mean two out of the three I times know. it didn't work out in the past i know i know yeah. he batted at number 3 also yeah. uh, retired himself out, out. in the game the 29 of 28 which <laughs> he had made that. but you know again I didn't mind that move to be honest. Okay, Shane feels that it, you know, he is not a big fan. I'm telling you, no, because no, because I thought, and mm. that's what I'm saying. The conflict there is, I thought that he's been sent because you're 36 for three, mm. and now you need someone to play run a ball cricket mm. and take you to a situation. Because remember, they were a batter shot, mm. and if you had exposed your big hitters in Jurel to that extent, or even Hetmar. and if they get out then match is done and dusted so what you're trying to do is from that 7th over you need someone for 5 overs till 12 to bat run a ball take you to a decent total and from there on you bring in your big guns and they hit out the remaining 6 7 8 <laughs> overs and then you try and get a par total i think that was the plan but i don't think ravi chandra ashwin subscribed to that yeah he said forget it see the what the purpose was probably sometime what you do when you are a batter shot you want to make your batting order look longer so mm-hmm. for example when we looked at the batting order what did we say batting order finishes at 6 mm-hmm. we did not count ravichandran ashwin in that batting order and fair call at that time but what were you saying batting order finishes at 6 as soon as you send ravichandran ashwin at number 5 automatically your batting order becomes to number 7 so i think that's the thought process I don't think they would have done it otherwise but because of the situation you were you wanted to elongate your batting mm. order get someone to bat you know according to the situation but I guess what Ashwin did was okay maybe that may have been the dictator but what he thought is of okay Kuldeep has given me a ball which I can smack I'll smack he smacks it same with Nokia maybe in a slot hits it 
and takes his strike rate where it is. My, my logic, what I thought at that point in time was that maybe it's because it seems a bit of a two-paced wicket. Mm. At that point, it definitely seemed like it. And I'm thinking two-paced wicket, you would, who would you trust to handle a spinner better? Ashwin or Hetmeyer? Hetmeyer can sometimes be susceptible to spin, especially early on. Then I realized, I'm like, okay, I don't think they had that many spinners beyond an Akshar and a Kuldeep. Mm. And once Kuldeep was done, you saw them having to resort back to Nokia. And that's when Ashwin accelerated. He got those two sixes of Nokia. And I'm thinking, ooh, if that was in fact going to be the calculation, not the worst idea having Hetmeyer. Because again, I know challenging wicket to start with, not exactly. Especially after what we saw in Hyderabad, which was an yeah. absolute flat deck batting paradise. A challenging two-paced wicket. But once you got set, there were runs on offer. That's why I think even a lot of people would have normally you'd be critical of how the top order fared. Your two batters, your most explosive openers, batting at a strike rate of under 100. But I think even they figured out that this was a tricky pitch. Maybe you needed to consolidate and look to bat long. See what Parag did. I mean, when Jirel departed, they were at 142. From there, in less 43 than three runs, 2.4. 43 runs. So there are runs on offer. So that's the question you know, I'll put forward to Siddharth, no, because he was being critical of a Virat Kohli <laughs> who batting at that strike rate that day, run a ball, run a ball. That's exactly what Ryan Parag was doing. If you take his first 20 runs, hmm. he was run a ball. Yeah. But what he was prepping, why, why was it run a ball? Hmm. Because the situation was such. Three wickets had fallen, yeah. he had to bat like that. But what he was trying to do is bat deep and then he would accelerate and that's exactly what he's done. I'm saying even that day, second match though, no question about his strike rate. Hmm. Even that day, because they had lost a lot of wickets, I think Virat Kohli chose to bat like that. His plan also would have been similar. That's what I'm saying. It's cricketing logic that, okay, after I weathered the storm a bit, I've gotten set and then there aren't too many overs left, then I'll attack and maybe finish with a 140-50 strike rate and take my team. That's what, that's what common sense is. That's what experience batting is. That is again ifs and buts. Virat Kohli. You know, it did happen. It, he can't be always expected to get that. He was trying. So, for example, could have happened with uh, Ryan Parag also. Yeah. He was 20 of 20. He could have gotten out. Maybe a beauty of a delivery gets out. Could and he came been. at the fag end of the power play. And after two wickets had fallen. No, but exactly. But he had, he had to bat together the situation. Nah? In Virat's case also, it was as if he had come end of the power play. Because he only got three or four balls in the power in play. The power play. Mm-hmm. So, it was as if he's come end of the power play. But an opener and a number four. I totally agree. different roles. I agree, yeah, but they were in the same si- have you faced? Yeah, they're in the same situation. Correct. How many balls have you faced? How, how, are you, how am I expecting him to play with intent in the power play if he's faced four balls? Again, see, we are all thinking that, okay, because Faf had occupied most of the strike, agreed, in that game against Chennai. But again, conditions also, different conditions. In Chennai, you have to make use of the power play entirely. But again, that is again compounded by the fact Virat didn't get too many deliveries. But then after that, the pitch didn't deteriorate. It didn't actually ensure that, okay, bat- batting became a whole lot difficult. It became better no, to bat But he was trying to attack God out. He was trying to attack God out. It could have been, that's why I'm saying, no, Ryan Parag also, run a ball, then I played a few attacking shots, one against Kuldeep, I remember, one of the first taking of pressure, you know, five inches or five meters shot caught in the boundary, five meters, it's a thing, I mean, a game of fine margins, I'm saying the approach. As I say, apples with apples, oranges with oranges, so comparing the Virat with, with Rohit is a better comparison because they're openers. In the IPL. Yeah, but how does the op- if the situation is the same, if an opener has come and if he's only gotten five balls to bat till six overs, then he's for all practicable purpose uh, number four batter only if three wickets have fallen in that much time or number five batter. It's a situation. Just because I went out to open does not mean I will only be judged. I'm judging the situation which is exactly similar and both were exactly similar situation. Wickets had fallen at the other end, they were playing. Anyway, that's a different debate. Riyan yeah. Parag, his knock needs to be praised today. Fantastic batting. Fantastic. Uh, we yeah. all expected it after the form that he'd been showing in domestic cricket. But, uh, you know, he's another player who probably, you know, uh, Hardik Pandya can take a tip or two from, who got a lot of hit. But instead of trying to be good and trying to get back that goodwill, continued to be the brash kid that he was. Mm. Couldn't care less. And see where he is today. See, social media activity of Riyan Parag prior to 2024 was very low. 
he at least went back to domestic showed his metal and i think after 2023 the brief was clear to him last season if you do not capitalize on it out you are you sure he was told that it could have been because see for four years he was living on potential for three years in that period he had only one brief manhattan that was against rcb 56 i agree 56. but who knows maybe even if he did not live up to expectation maybe another season no i mean see 2025 you are gearing up for the mega auction they would want changes and there are certain one two players that rajasthan would have focus on for example yashasvi he would have been a certainty to be retained sanju probably sanju probably then if you want one of the foreigners maybe a bolt then you got a uc chel they'll definitely retain three out of the four are indian players you are settled where on earth riyan parag would have fit in and with the intense competition maybe riyan would not have able to, been able to make it in 2025 which is why he was told this season capitalize on it better do well otherwise you'll be put in the auction pool and i don't think there might have been potential buyers because if you look at all the other teams middle order supposing he was put out in the auction in 2024 where would he have fitted in now no, he'd no, be no, more no, than no. happy going into the auction now now but after then, this season he in fact say don't let me go into the auction he'll get a lot of money if he continues the he I, might i i see i don't know whether what he was told behind the scenes i've heard no indications what we do know is that he was because he was a darling of exactly the team. he was very That's highly rated yeah talking. so but what i do know is that he has been putting in some effort behind the scenes yes i mean you know he's shown a lot of consistency even previously it was nothing new to see him perform well in domestic cricket what frightened everyone this year was the consistency in smart 750 plus scores smart and then smart smart then in in uh, ranji trophy as well there were a couple of back to back hundreds which were hard hitting knocks there was i think 100 i think he, he got which was the fastest ranji trophy 100 so the intent was there it was clear you could see that this was a different player this is a guy who was tired of probably living off the potential deck Yeah. And he's had potential since 2018. Let's we forget he's part of the same batch as someone like a Shubman Gill, Prithvi Shaw, and Harshdeep Singh. It's not that batch. How much time is potential? Six years. Finally, better late than never. He's still young. That's yeah. the thing. And personally, I'd like to see him bowl a bit more because again, India don't often have right-handed batters who can bowl right-arm part-time spin. Very useful. He's not it. a part-time spinner. He's a dibbly dobbly guy. No, no, he bowls decent leg spin. He does. They've not been using it. They've not. They're not used at all. See, see, there have been only two knocks prior to this that put him on the. Uh, when you look at the map of Indian IPL, if One you look at RCB it, one was the RCB knock. Fifty-six and four wickets. Mm. Plus, he got two catches, if I'm not mistaken. Dibbly dobbly. Dibbly dobbly. He was bowling there in Pune. Then four wickets. Exactly. He's like, uh, I mean, his uh, action. If you look at it, is a lot like uh, you may say heat streak, forty kilometers slower. <laughs> no way. Yeah, I mean the action, the arm action is kind of like. Uh, the medium pacer versus a spinner, yeah. No. He's not a spinner. He's a dibbly dobbly guy, like no, a Gavin no, Larson. No, he can no, be a no, Gavin Larson. He's not a Larson. He's a spinner. Hmm. He's a spinner. See, if, if you're talking about pace or spinners, who have that would be a like Daryl Mitchell. Varun Chakravarti. No. Varun Chakravarti is a proper mystery spinner. No, no, he but is actually no, no, he is run up. No, no, see not Chakravarti. Venkatesh Shaya. Venkatesh Shaya. Even a Dubey prior to his recent. Ah, Dubey. Ah, Dubey. Dubey. Yeah. Yeah. Marcus Stoinis is a WWE. Yes, Marcus Stoinis. Marcus Stoinis. Stoinis is a WWE. And one more. Twenty nineteen, he had hit a fifty against the Capitals. Correct. So that is why he likes playing against the Capitals, but. As you have said, with this R R team, there are two guys that we want to focus. By the way, before the thing starts, my point about Akshar Patel. One for twenty-one. I'm telling you, the people. When I said about Jadeja, a lot of people sent me hate, but see it, huh? In yeah. bowling, he's right up there, if not better. Mm. No, T20 is batting, definitely. He is definitely better in T20 cricket. Yes. You, I know Jadeja is a massive name, so it you find it a bit awkward and uncomfortable when I say something like that. But if you look at the numbers yeah. and not one season, I'll look at it at two, three, four seasons. seasons I think Akshar's outperformed uh, Jadeja exactly. comfortably. Akshar yeah, there's Patel. just one problem. Akshar was pretty average in that T20 World Cup of 2022. Yeah, but so was everybody yeah. else if you look at it, except yeah. a Virat Kohli. Correct. The Indian Sky. team has been quite average. Only one knock. Two last. Two no, T20. He was one of your better batters throughout the tournament. Only one yeah, knock. That that's South Africa knock. Yeah, that's it. Uh, otherwise, wasn't he criticised for that semi-final performance? 
Falling for the trap. Falling for the trap. So that's why. Akshar, uh, if you see multiple season, the bowler and the batter. Hmm. Uh, it sounds awkward, but should be probably your first eleven player, uh, left arm spinner. I think he will be there in the I 15, but I highly doubt not in the 15. He's probably going to be one of the backup players. Yeah, wait, backup in the 15, he'll be there, but he's not starting yeah. the 11. Let's see. Look. No, even 15 is not exactly easy. because you'd have one uh, who'd be a wicketkeeper bat, uh, backup, right? Kuldeep Jadeja. He'll they'll start. Yeah. Because you have no Shami, you have got a uh, three pace have bowling. To take pace, sir. Three mm. or fitting in. Some people are making with two fast bowlers and Hardik there. That means two fast bowlers or at least one mm. with the outside. It's very tough. Anyway, that's a different debate. Yeah. Pradeep Srivalsan says, finally, Hamara <laughs> Parag. <laughs> Amazing to see him mature. Agreed. Yes. But yeah, but wait for a couple more games. Because he's already had a good start. 48 and 84. So, it's quite good. Okay. Uh, Sarthak is saying that you had predicted that Hasaranga will be sold at base price and it happened. But he was, was he at base No, it was 1.5 crores. Yeah. Was that his base price? I think it was a crore, if I'm yeah. not mistaken. Yeah, so not at base price. Oh, yeah, so not at base price. But he would not go for big bucks, that's Which what I had said. Which is very surprising, he was... And today you predicted RR 185. Yeah. Total respect. Thank you, Sartak. Sartak. Thank you so much. <sighs> no, I'm sorry, I didn't see... I thought Hasan would go for big bucks. I thought for SRH got a steal for that It was, I mean, they got, they got two steals in two seasons. Adil Rashid. And one in the yeah, Hasaranga. Of course, Adil didn't work out. Yeah, so did, so did Akil. Akil Hussain also. Yep. Okay. Um, quick watch daily wants to know, did DC make a mistake of not having another spinner in Mecca? Uh, possible. Possible. But I, I think their batting line, uh, their bowling lineup did decently well. Uh, the pacers. You see the, yeah, if you, no, Akshar Patel's what? Oh, no, Akshay 1 for 21 and Khalil 1 for 24. Yeah. But aside from that. But Khalil had even better figures. 3 overs for 9. That nine. last over unfortunately spoiled it for him. Yep. But the only disappointment was not here. Yes. But as we pointed out pre show, ah. you'd have to Correct. You know, wait on him. He's, he's had a tough time with injuries and all that. Can't expect him to be on the ball. Which is surprising the then that they didn't turn to maybe someone like a Mitch Marsh at some point. Yeah. But I think they lost confidence in Marsh in the first game itself. He was tonked around I in that PBKS game. But not your express pacer experience of bowling in the death. Yeah, Today express, it didn't work. Express pacers can be a problem also. Is uh, in the sense that look, this was a pitch that was assisting Khalil. Not exactly the quickest pacer. Mm. Akshar and Kuldeep were getting some purchase. Yeah. Not the worst idea in the world to go for Marsh for at least one over. But yeah. yeah and hindsight. okay, in not yet's defence, those out of the th uh, four boundaries that were hit, five five boundaries, two were edges. Mm. He was beaten by the pace almost at edge, went past short third. So that's yes. why, yeah, that's a bit of a problem in that way. So, but I, don't I think know. now two matches we've seen DC that polling just not have depth. Last okay. time, I, there was still an extenuating circumstance in an Ishant getting injured. Yeah. But otherwise, if you look at their bowling, five bowlers have bowled four overs. And because what if another bowler got tonked? Then you'd be really doomed. In the final game, in the fi first game, final over you bowled with Suvit Kumar. It tells you everything you need. And you're bowling to Liam Livingston, unfortunately, in that sense. Um, are they making an impact, sir? Or what's the no, they've already gotten the impact, sir. It's Nandre. Oh, it's Nandre? Okay. It's Nandre, Burger. No, but there's something that seems to be happening which delayed it a bit. Uh, yeah, Ricky Ponting was very unhappy. Yeah. He went and had a fight uh, over something. Okay, and we just uh, have a look what has happened. At the switch tab. They, they, did they get a fielder uh, uh, who probably, you know, like, apart from making that impact sub, maybe hmm. a fielder also that m we may not have been happy about? Yeah, I really don't know. Yeah. I think the issue we don't know at this point. No, it did seem like that uh, because then they changed the fielder. Yeah. They did change the fielder. But this kind of a wicket is tailor made for a Trent Bolt. Skid, bit of swing. That's what Khalil also got through, right? That's yeah. why. So, I don't know what's the issue. I mean. They've got Nandre Burger for sure. Yeah. yeah, but now wait, all of a sudden Rovman Powell comes in and an Indian player goes that off the field. That means there are five foreign players on the field right now. That's very weird. Uh, How? No, no. So, Rahman Powell was not on the field. Ha, my point is that I think even for substitutes, you can only have substitute fielders. 
I think you still have to maintain the four this thing. Yeah, but they, they actually did not have Robman on the field. They did not. And yeah. after the oh, yeah, yeah, but that, ha, right, so right, right. If it was if it was Oh, yeah, they've subbed out Hetmeyer, right. So it shouldn't be a problem. Yeah. They've subbed out Hetmeyer. So it shouldn't be a problem. No, they've subbed out Hetmeyer, so Nandre Berger comes. That in. means three they had anyway. So actually Robman can come onto the field. Yeah. Or maybe because he's yeah. the fifth foreigner who's playing. I yeah, you know. can't have more than four. Even any kind of permutation, you cannot have more than four. Hmm. No, I think maybe this is a f debate that can can five be used for fielding? Hmm. Like even as a substitute in that sense. Yeah, but correct. I, yeah, five players used, but hmm. the fifth being used as a substitute fielder. You no, know, I do recall on a couple of occasions last year this was with there, KKR. I think Ricky Ponting was unhappy. Now they've gone on to show. The the team sheet to him. Hmm. No, but not just that. I think for a foreign field, for a substitute fielder like that, it is allowed because I remember there were a few occasions last year when David Wiesa would come on for KKR as the substitute fielder. Fielder, not an yeah, impact player. Not an impact yeah. player. And KKR never reached a situation where they had four foreign players uh, or three foreign players starting and one. So hmm. I don't know. I think that may have been an issue because Nandri Burger does come in for a yeah Hetmeyer. Because they started with three? Yes, yes they started with three. So, yep. Hetmeyer goes out, Nandre Berger comes in, that's fine. No, but then... Uh, so, you already played three. You have impacted no, your one, four. Are four. Are your four are done. You can't have so a fifth. So, how does a Roman Powell come in? And I think the argument was that since Roman Powell is named in the bench, yeah. he can be a substitute fielder. Correct. Yes. yes. And I think the, the, the DC team may have been pointing out that how can... Five foreigners be involved in a game. Yeah. And what I think may have been pointed out to them that only four are involved in batting and bowling. Yep. The fifth as a fielder, if he has been named in the bench hmm. as one of the substitutes, then he can be. I think I think that's exactly uh, I think that happened. is the thing. We'll have to have a clarity on that. So No, I think that that's the only thing. Hmm. Because there's nothing else that they've done he could be upset about. Yep, yep, exactly. So Let's see. I think we'll get more details as how it goes on. So, but I think whatever they've done, they've go, gone by the rule. Because mm. uh, uh, while Ricky Ponting was unhappy, the yeah. the umpire actually went and showed him the exact rule book, saying that this is it, and this is the guy on the bench, so they can bring him. I think what happened is they started with him, mm. Robman Powell, but after a Ricky Ponting complaint, he went out. And then after the umpire read it out saying it's okay, he came back he on. Came back he on. came back on. Yeah. Yes. Yep, yep. So that may have been the thing. Okay, anyway, yeah. started. Uh, I had you had picked two to win, DC. To DC win. to win. I picked RR. I'll stick with RR. I'm sticking with RR. See you. See you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Nandri. <laughs>